Welcome back to Kendall King's MLB 15 Road to the Show career. We are taking on the Minnesota Twins. And this is episode 45 of Kendall's journey through the major leagues. As you can see, he's batting third in our lineup right now. We've got Brandon Moreau pitching at 8-3, a 3.02 ERA. So Kendall is not the only Astro having a pretty good season right now. You can see Kendall has 26 home runs here. First pitch of the bat, nobody on, two outs. Kendall's going to swing. And we foul this one off. And if you guys have been enjoying Kendall's journey so far, we just wrapped up All-Star Weekend as Kendall flies out there. Horrible at bat. But if you guys have been enjoying his journey, make sure to hit that like button. Every single video that you leave a like is huge for me. With any episode in the Kendall series, we want to hit 150 likes in each video. So make sure to hit that like button. Bases loaded here in the top of the third. We're up 1-0, one out. First pitch is a nice little fastball placed perfectly by Irvin Santana. Kendall's looking at, uh, you know, staring down in Santana. We can see that he has 38 stolen bases on the season. That leads the league. He's on his way to get past 70 this year, hopefully. Next pitch is a ball. Got a 1-1 count now. Still bases loaded. One out. Kendall's looking for something good here. Next pitch is in. Kendall gets a hold of this one. He's going out deep. Can Kendall get a grand slam in target field? It's going. And it's way out of there. Not even a chance of being close to being caught by that center fielder. Kendall picks up home run number 27 on the year. It's a special one. It's a grand slam, four RBIs, and everybody in the ballpark is going to dap up your boy Kendall after that. So we're up 5-0 after Kendall's grand slam. Nobody on, one out. Kendall's here in the field, fields it cleanly, gets over to first, and it's another good throw as we try and continue that gold glove campaign. Kendall has won pretty much every award you can win as a position player. But the gold glove has been elusive for him. He hasn't got it just yet, and we're hoping this is the season that he actually gets it. Top of the fifth, nobody on, one out. First pitch is a nasty 94 mile an hour fastball by Santana. We cannot keep up with that one. Next pitch on a 1 1 count is in. Kendall gets a hold. It's right past the third baseman. He's a little gun shy, and he doesn't field it. So Kendall picks up an easy single. And you know what, folks? Anytime the Kendall's on first base, we're going to make a move for second base. Before that, look at the batting averages. Kendall is now at fourth in the league at this point. Cabrera's got a little bit of a lead on him, but Kendall's trying to climb back up. Prince Fielder, again, another incredible season from him at the plate. Kendall gets in there in second base, picking up another stolen base. If you guys have been following the series, Kendall was the first player to have more than 50 stolen bases and 50 home runs in MLB history. And this season, we're trying to stretch it. I won 60 home runs and 60 stolen bases. He had about 60, mid-60s for stolen bases last season. He's a chance to eclipse 50, but a 60-70 player would be phenomenal. I don't even know if that's possible, but top of the seventh, our lead has been cut down. We're up 5-3. Nobody on and one out here on a 2-0 count. We got a new pitcher in the ball game. Next pitch is in. Kendall gets a hold of this one. It's going to be out to center field. Center fielder is not going to get it. Kendall's going to make his way around a second base. We should at least have a stand-up double here. We are not going to test that arm because despite how fast Kendall is and that throw is a little off target, we probably would have been thrown out there. So Kendall's up here again in the top of the ninth. We're three for four on this game. Ball game is tied at five. One on. Nobody out. Kendall has a chance at a four-hit ball game here. First pitch of the bat is in, and Kendall fouls that one off, so we're going to try and get a better cut here in the next one. 0-1 oh, count. Kendall seeing what he can do. Next pitch is in. Kendall smacks this one right up the middle. Shortstop cannot get to it. That's going to put the next runner. Oh, the runner's going to move to third, so now we have a runner 90 feet away after Kendall's clutch single. So Kendall's feeling pretty good about himself. So ultimately, that does not get in the game-winning hit. We end up winning 6-5. Kendall has four hits, and one of those being a home run that was a grand slam. So up here at home, playing against the Boston Red Sox, we are 58-40 and 40 on the season. A pretty good record considering we got rid of a lot of pieces. Uh, as you can see, there's nobody like Altuve, you know, Kendall's homeboy that was playing second base and helped him turn so many double plays is gone. We have Rugnit Odor, who surprisingly has been pretty good. Kendall's got a small hit streak here, top of the, or bottom of the first, two out, nobody on. Kendall gets all of that one, but it's well foul. So we got an 0-2 count now, have to protect the plate. Next pitch is in, Kendall smacks it, it's in the hole. First baseman cannot get to it, and Kendall makes his way to get yet another single. That batting average is on its way up, maybe on a Tuesday, we'll see. So bottom of the third, we're up 2-0 now. Two outs, nobody on for Kendall, he's trying to get another base hit here. That streak has already continued. First pitch of the bat is in, Kendall fouls this one off. His favorite spot, almost kills somebody in the dugout there. 1-1 one, one count now, next pitch. A high fastball. Kendall, don't swing at those, man. I know they're tempting. 96 mile an hour heat. Next pitch on a 1-2 count is coming in. 
Kendall smacks this one. This one might have a chance. The right fielder is on his way back. Kendall's on his horse. And this one goes out. So Kendall picks up another home run. This man is finally an MVP form. If you've been watching all of season four so far, Kendall was kind of struggling at the very beginning of the year. And he's just progressively ramped up to now he's exponentially better than what he was. I feel like he's starting to get into his stride that he was last season. And last season he had his best numbers of his career. So we're in the fifth inning here, trying to feel one. We back in here, we get it over to first. It's a little high, but we gun the run around. So Kendall is still showing perfect in the field in the last couple games. Bottom of the six, we're up seven to two. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch of the bat is a nasty pitch, but Kendall gets all of it. Is that one out of the park? It's not out of the stadium, but it is out of the playing field. So Kendall picks up another home run. So that is now a two home run ball game for your boy Kendall King. That is a pitch that Kendall has struggled with, kind of those off-speed pitches up high, but he's waiting on them. He's finally hitting home runs to every section of the ballpark. This is the best that I've seen Kendall in terms of his back control. This is phenomenal. So top of the eighth, we're up 8-3 after that home run. Ball is hit here to Kendall. It's a dribbler. He gets it over to second. Odor flips it over to first, and we get a double play again, getting an assist, getting a put out. Kendall is looking strong. Bottom of the eighth now, up 8-3 still. One runner on, two outs. Next pitch of the bat is in. It's a high pitch that Kendall fouls off right over his dugout. Now we got an 0-2 count. Has to protect the plate here. Anything close to swinging. It's a ball, so we've got a little bit of room. The pitcher's not looking nervous, though. Usually they're looking nervous when they have Kendall on the ropes. 1-2 count now. Next pitch. Kendall. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You cannot finish a game out like that. We do end up winning. Moreau picks up his ninth win of the season. Kendall gets a three-hit ball game, two of those being solo home runs. So another good performance for Kendall. We're going to wrap up this episode playing the San Diego Padres, who have a, a decent record. They're around 500, but looking at their roster, I'm honestly surprised that they're that close to 500. I figured they'd be a little worse at this point. We're in the top of the first here. One runner on, one out. Kendall seeing what he can do here to get his team some runs. First pitch of the bat is coming in. Nasty pitch, Kendall gets over to second base, and they are going to turn an easy double play on Kendall. Not a good way to start the game, but if you've watched this series, you know that Kendall usually starts off slow in games and kind of ramps up. Bottom of the first now in the field, nobody on, no outs. Kendall gets one deep in the hole, he gets over to first, it's going to be close, and the umpire says we got him, so that one, a little close, that arm strength though is coming up clutch. Kendall now has 30 home runs on the season. We are down 2-1 now in the top of the fourth. Nobody on, nobody out for Kendall. First pitch of the bat is in. It's a high fastball. The last couple games, Kendall has swung at pitch after pitch up in the zone. We've got to stop those. 0-2 count now. Got to protect the plate. It's a good pitch, and Kendall hits a blooper into center field. Center fielder gets it quick, and we pick up another single. That is so many hits for Kendall right now. I'm just really floored by how clutch he's been all season. You can see that he has 135 hits. The closest person is Brantley with seven. Uh, a lot of Detroit Tigers there up in the bottom, though. Top of the fourth, though. Kendall's on base now. We're trying to get over to second. Catcher throws it way too high, and we get another steal. So we're now, I think, in the 40s for stolen bases. Well on our way to getting that 70 uh, st stolen base mark that we won. Top of the sixth. We're, up, we're down six to one. Nobody on. Nobody out. Kendall's trying to get the offense going for his squad. First pitch is a nasty cut, and it goes out to deep right field, but unfortunately it's foul. 0-1 count now. Next pitch of the bat is coming in. Another one. Kendall hits it out to right field. The right fielder's close, and he does snag it Willie Mays style. Not a good look for Kendall. Probably shouldn't have swung at that one. Top of the eighth now. We are down 7-1. to one. This lead is getting out of hand at this point. Kendall is trying to get the offense going. First pitch of the bat is coming in. It's a low pitch that Kendall should not have swung at. Gotta be better than that. 0-2 count now. Again, anything close we're swinging. Pitches in. It's out over the plate, and Kendall gets it. It's going out to deep right field. If it's fair, it's gone. It is barely fair. Just skates past the pole. Kendall hits home run number 31 on the season. This is really turning out to be exactly what we wanted. A lot of you guys predicted some crazy numbers, but I legitimately think we have a chance at 60 and 60. If you guys have been enjoying this video and enjoying this series, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more MLB 15 Road to the Show videos.